Hey guys, Lizzie the Lightworker here. So I'm going to do a twin flame reading video today and we're going to do Capricorn and Pisces. So we're going to do Capricorn male, Pisces female. Okay. And what we can do is we'll get into the divine male, divine female, what they're like personality wise, sort of what they want, what they need, how they interact together, what needs work and future advice. Okay. So we're going to use both after tarot and regular tarot because I do like both and how they interact together I think is great and we'll wait to use these but for right now we're going to get right into it with regular tarot okay so let's get into the divine male so the divine male I said was going to be Capricorn and the divine female is going to be Pisces so divine male Okay, so the divine male here, he's a very sacrificial person. He definitely, um, you know, would, would sacrifice anything in his life to make someone feel better or be better. Uh, he's sort of in this position though, in the reverse position, might be sort of wasting his energy here. It sort of has to do with getting different perspectives and everything. Like when you turn around and you look at something uh, differently, you're supposed to be enlightened. He's not having that happen. He's not having any enlightenment here. He's sacrificing sort of for nothing. His efforts are sort of being wasted here. So let's get another card and see. Okay. He wants opportunities. He really wants these opportunities. He would definitely be able to move forward with like ideas that he has or passions or starting new projects or um, possibly he's searching for work or employment or he's doing some schooling or something like that. This has to do with uh, sort of really working on yourself and your um, drive and your passions and your ideas and you know sort of like what you're doing for yourself. But it could have also have to do with like a new relationship um, and putting yourself out there. So let's just get another card here and see. Okay, but he's really sort of afraid. He really is not sure if he couldn't handle, he couldn't handle like a breakup. He couldn't handle um, not being successful or not being able to provide or not being able to have enough resources or help. He would not be able to handle that. It would make him feel very defeated. He would feel like he was just defeated and down for the count. Okay, so let's get into the divine female because I think that'll help us paint a better picture here. So divine female, her energy is very stable, secure. She's very dependable, reliable. She has a lot to offer. She's um, very resourceful. And very grounded so she's a little bit more meticulous and a bit of a perfectionist and she is all about security and having comforts like living a comfortable life so this card would relate to her feelings the way she is the way she um, interacts the way she uh, feels she might be a bit materialistic she could be um, someone who likes a lot of luxury and likes to be pampered and, and, and possibly even spoiled and treated in a certain way. Let's get another card. Okay, again, sort of with the disappointments or the broken heart, she definitely doesn't want to have any type of a broken heart. I feel like because these cards are coming out this way, they may have already hurt each other in some way these two these two twin flames these union this union ha that has come about capricorn male pisces female they may have already hurt each other she this is um being disappointed saddened um feeling betrayed sort of grieving sort of having a hard time getting over something yeah she i feel like this may have already um, gone sour. We're going to get some more cards, but with the devil card, she is very fearful here. 
her heart being broken. She's very fearful here. She does not want this to happen, or if it did happen, she can't let go of it. She might be a bit codependent as well. Um, it's not always, please hear me when I say that, this is not always, but it could be a card of addictions. Um, it could be any kind of addictions. You could be addicted to love. You could be addicted to food. You could be addicted to drugs or alcohol. But just remember, it could be other things. This is sort of someone that's tied they're very tied and they're very bound to whatever it is that is discouraging them or hurting them or keeping them in a negative pattern. Fearful. Okay? So let's get into how they interact. Okay. How they interact together. For some reason, I feel like they don't fully understand each other. They don't communicate well. They may not be on the same page here. They may be very confused as to how to sort of resurrect whatever they need to here. Because I do feel like they were both hurt or they hurt each other. So what needs work? Let's get into, let's go with after tarot. What needs work? Okay, so I mean if they continue here, there's ups and downs. This has to do with... A turn for the better this is always a positive card it's a turn for the better so it's about destiny what needs to play out will play out so if this has happened this broken heart and this disappointment and this defeat if this has already happened it's playing out the way it needs to play out it's for a reason the reason probably is for growth purposes or for them to let go of things that they're holding on to that are, that are bad or unsavory or hurtful behaviors. This has to do with bad behaviors, fear, anxiety, resentment, jealousy, hatefulness, uh, bigotry, things like that. It has to do with staying down in a negative pattern, dependency. This has to do with just all out sort of giving up and being completely defeated or feeling completely defeated it's like a rock bottom and usually that's that's a completion that's the end of something it's usually the end of a cycle here but they're not seeing the light of day so let's see okay what needs work let's get another one for what needs work okay so right here with the six of coins so this has to do with not you know, spreading yourself too thin. It's about balance. So ultimately here, like I said, this all needs to play out. It's happening for a reason. It's part of their destiny. It's part of their contract. It's part of their fate. Pisces, divine female, Capricorn, divine male. This is part of their fate. They have to have this happen, but it's a turn for the better. So when the turn for the better comes, if they stick together, they might have time apart. It's very possible they could be having a separation right now, time apart. Maybe they've come back together after the wheel has turned. And this is about balance. So ultimately, giving and receiving, it's an equal exchange here. So one of them might be more well off than the other. One of them might be a little bit greedy. They might expect a bit too much. But in fairness and balance, someone here will definitely be able to do this give and take. They'll have it to give. And the other one will want to receive and give back. So it's about balance here. So good card for that. Good, good balance. And future advice. What can we expect for the future here? What is just some type of uh, idea or advice that they can take? Ten of Wands. Okay. So what's going to happen here is it's going to take a lot of work. If these two want to be together, this is also about completion and something being over and whatever. You definitely have to realize that the time and the energy and the work has to go in here. So if it's to work, it's possibly somewhere or something that's you're going to feel overburdened or um, 
maybe even like giving up, but if you put that extra 10% into this relationship and you really, really feel like, you know, it's worth it for you and you really love this person and you really want to be with them or you want to be together in this union, definitely going to have to be put the work in. Okay, we can get maybe like one more card here to see and we'll get a psychic tarot for the heart card. Okay, share the love. Okay, so you're going to want to be open with each other. That has a lot to do with this here. Um, sharing the love, giving someone, you know, even giving someone... Even giving someone the broken pieces of your heart, you can't expect them to like fix it for you. You have to do that yourself. You have to mend yourself. So you go into a relationship with a mended heart and they have to have a mended heart. You both have to be okay. You both have to have that self-love and that healing happen and go into a relationship whole and healthy for it to work at all. So that's what this is telling you. These are sort of like warnings about proceeding with this union here. Okay, not all twin flame unions end in marriage and happy endings. Sometimes they come, we have a contract with this person, contract to meet, things have to play out. They play out for a reason, for a learning experience, something to help us, to prevent us from, from something terrible, or to give us an experience that feels terrible with a lot of meaning attached to it. So there is some hope here, but like I said, it's going to take a ton of work. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed this twin flame reading for Pisces female and Capricorn male. Please leave me some comments below, guys, if you'd like to see me do any um, specific couples twin flame readings, please let me know. As always, like and subscribe, and many, many blessings to you all. Follow the rainbow moon. This has been Lizzie the Lightworker.